Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. I uh, wanted to show you guys something. I had to rearrange my office here to make some empty floor space because I uh, purchased a new toy this week, the Oculus Quest 2. And this is it. It's, uh, I got the cheaper 128 gigabyte version. It looks like that. And it comes with uh, two of these controllers right here and here. Um, and I, read, I definitely got this uh, with software development in mind. Some of you guys might know I am a software developer, mostly uh, Android and iPhone and web apps. And prior to this, Oculus, I had been uh, doing some minor VR testing using uh, this thing. Okay, this is just one of those cheap Amazon uh, 30 or so dollar headsets and an Android or an iPhone slips into there. You like, you put it in this carrier and the phone goes in there and then uh, it uses the Google Cardboard interface in order to, uh, you know, show you a pseudo 3D environment. And it works pretty good, but most web apps and uh, other VR apps require you to have these controllers. And um, most of those VR headsets don't come with anything like this, or at least anything that's recognized by the API as a VR controller. And um, a lot of the applications don't support Bluetooth game pads, which would really go far to make the cardboard experience work with a lot of the uh, other VR stuff, but it's just not supported. Anyway, the Oculus itself is really cool. It's, uh, I put it on and it's, the graphics on it are light years above the thing that I put my phone into. So that's really neat. So, um, and anyway, you put that thing on and, uh, like an hour can fly by just like that. It's kind of a distraction. <laughs> so my productivity has been kind of low this week, but that's cool. It's, uh, it's research for the business is what it is. When I'm, uh, fighting those orcs with a virtual bow and arrow, that's all research. So yeah, um, I might put some Oculus or other VR related content on the channel here in my spare time. I was thinking about making some videos about how to do actually some software development for this thing. There's one thing I mentioned. There's a lot of um, web XR stuff out there, cool VR stuff you can do for free, but it requires a headset with the uh, virtual reality controllers. And to me, a proper application should also be able to work with a Bluetooth gamepad with the Android based, uh, the cheap headsets, the Google Cardboard type things. Even though the actual Google Cardboard itself, I think, is kind of going away um i mean somebody with just a regular phone should be able to buy a 30 dollar headset and get all the cool experiences that somebody with an oculus does in my opinion so whenever i design something it's going to work with both the expensive headset and the uh, cheap 30 dollar one and so maybe i'll make some videos showing how to easily support both for developers out there for anybody who wants to get started in developing for vr uh I think it's fun just making applications and games for it. And it's actually not that hard. So uh, I might put some uh, development videos up about that. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this Oculus I got. It's a really cool thing. If you're into VR, this is kind of the cheapest way you can get a good experience. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's really good. I've had it for about four days now and I've been using it quite a bit. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Thanks for watching. Uh, Subscribe to the channel if you want, and have a good day.